and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can always receive alerts when I upload new videos and live streams and give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. So here's my mini and I do my mini the same way and all of my monthly views or month at a glances, I call them a month at a glance, but I'm saying month at a view, monthly view because I've heard some of my fellow um, planner babes call it that as well. But I do the same thing. I put whatever dates in that I know prior to um, the days happening, um, just to, because it makes it easier to just flip through and see what I have on here um, without using a lot of decorations. In my mini, what I typically do is for the days that I have things, um, I'll put little icon stickers throughout. Um, and then again, I use washi. These are washi the thinner washies. So washi is a big part of my um, monthly views layouts just because washi makes everything look, look like you've done a lot without really using a lot of stickers. And then I go through and kind of lay out some different deco stickers throughout. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> So I'm not gonna do a full voiceover in this video um, because pretty much at the end, I'm going to explain everything that I did. But also, if you did not see part one, make sure you click the link that is in the description box and I will leave a link at the top of the video um, so you can go check that out at the end of this video.
my monthly command center in my mini happy planner which is my catch-all if you didn't see part one of the video I decided to call my monthly view or month at a glance my command center just because this will be where I dump all my important dates my meetings um, any anything that I need to remember I'm gonna house it all here so when it's time for me to plan for that week I can always go to my command center to see what I have on my calendar. And again, I got that command center term from At Home With Kita. I really like that concept of using command center. Kind of makes me feel important. <laughs> but anyway, so just to kind of give you an idea how I set this up, um, I wanted this to look like a Christmas box since we are in the season. Um, so I used washi. I did want to use bows but the bows that I had did not match the color layout that I had so I just used a little um, mistletoe and a candy cane in the corner um, this was this color was inspired by these two stickers that came out of the lol um, seasonal sticker book let me see if I can pull that out and that's this book here um, this was a release that the paper studio had at Hobby Lobby I know it's kind of hard to get your hands on these. Um, it actually were these two books. This one is the Boss Babe. Um, but those colors really inspired me um, because it's not the traditional greens and reds and golds and blues that you see for Christmas. Um, and you know, I'm not really traditional. Um, so what I did was just add a little deco. And again, I try to, I try to always leave enough white space to be functional because in your command center, sometimes you don't always know what you're going to do on the 28th, on the 3rd of the month. Stuff just happens, so you just insert it as you go. Um, I am going to set some goals. So I wanted to put a little box sticker here. And I figured I'd zhuzh it up with a little um, heart with a little green. Um, check it off. And I'll probably label what my goal is. Um, but other than that... Um, this is my spread in my monthly command center for December. This is the last month in 2018. It's kind of bittersweet, but the sweet part about it is we get to jump into our new planners for 2019. Woo, woo, woo. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't seen part one, I will link the link up at the top of the video as well as the description box. Um, so make sure you check both of them out. Um, part one was on my teacher planner that I converted into my business and social media planner. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that as well. Click the notification bell so you'll never miss a live video or a new upload. And as well, share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace.